This is the plaintiff, Alyssa Banks. She says she purchased a Siamese kitten from the defendant, and the woman sold her a cat that was near death. That's right, the kitten had a fever, a respiratory infection. She was dehydrated and covered in fleas. The defendant was arrested for animal cruelty. She nursed the kitten to good health with the help of a great vet, and the defendant owes her big time. She's suing for $1,000 for vet bills and continued treatments. This is the defendant, Netta Chatter. She says the kitten had a little cold when she sold her. The vet gave her a clean bill of health, provided all the paperwork, and the woman simply overreacted. She's been raising Siamese cats for 16 years. The plaintiff is very emotional because she went through a near-death experience herself, and there was no need for this kitten to be hospitalized. She's accused of breeding a bad cat. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a Siamese kitten from the defendant that was near death. It was so bad, the plaintiff says the defendant was arrested for animal cruelty. The defendant says the kitten had a cold when she sold her, so big deal. It's the case of now it's time to feed the kitty. Thank you. Douglas, Alyssa Banks, you are suing Nada Shatir. Shatir. For three for one thousand dollars, three hundred and sixty-four dollars and sixty-two cents of vet bills plus additional amounts to continue treatment. What happened? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Um, I was born with a congenital heart defect, and on November 11th, 2016, I had to undergo a cardiac catheterization routine. Um, I went into heart failure the next day and was sent to Columbia Presbyterian. No surgeon in the hospital would be willing to do my surgery except for one, and his name was Dr. Emil Basha. So anyways, obviously I survived, and happily. And um, a year later, my Christmas, the holidays were coming up. I was euphoric because I was here, and my husband asked me for ideas. And I said, I've always wanted a Siamese cat um, ever since I was a little girl. So he told me, try to find one. I went on Pet Finders and I found a Siamese kittens. So I called the phone number. So we talked quite a while and I explained to her I had a cat and a dog at home. She assured me that the kittens had been to the vet. They had been tested for the deadly viruses that kittens could have and assured me that my pets were not in jeopardy. So um, we negotiated a meeting point. Was it your suggestion to have a meeting point or her suggestion? It was her suggestion. Okay. So we met at the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot and I got into her car. I asked her to bring the three kittens so I could pick from the litter. And she brought one. She only brought one. Right, so like that's, isn't that like a warning for you? Well, she told me that one was sold and she couldn't catch the third one. Couldn't catch the third one. Isn't that a warning for you? <sighs> All right. So, it and then she been. tells you that this cat had spilled water on itself. And when the kitten's in front of you, the kitten was wet. The kitten was very wet and it was wrapped in a towel. She was drying him off. I held the kitten. I continued asking questions. She told me she believed in karma. She would never lie to me. About what? The the health of the kitten. Okay, and but she told you the kitten ha had some, a problem. The kitten had a cold. She did not. She told you not, you didn't She perceive. told me that the kitten had a clean bill of health. She had just taken him to the vet okay. a week earlier. So then you take the kitten and you take the kitten home and what do you notice? So I took him home that night and um, he started acting weird, choking, jerking around. I took a video. Yeah, is this the kitten? Yes. What that was the name, day we got him. What did you name the kitten? I named him Basha after, after my surgeon. After the surgeon who did your surgery? Yes. Did you let the surgeon know? That's so cute. And he was honored. I thought he'd get mad at me, but he no, was No, it's adorable. Why honored. wouldn't he be honored? And this is, this is your dog? That's Carly, my dog. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> you are killing me with this picture. Are you Sorry, kidding me? That's a Christmas card right there. <laughs> Look at that picture. That's adorable. 
That's, That's your other cat? My other cat. All right, show me the video. I mean, okay, so the cat sneezed twice. Tell me what happens. That was, the cat cough. that was a cough. That was a cough. He was choking. Okay. Um, so you take the cat, the and I, I can see what you meant about the head. So you take the cat the next day to the vet, and what happens? The vet told me, and I believe you have a letter from my vet also, that the cat, in his opinion, was near death. He was dehydrated. He was suffering with conjunctivitis, fleas, and upper respiratory infection. And he also told me in his opinion, which is in his letter, that if I return the kitten, there's a good chance that more than likely the cat would have died. How, how could he possibly ever say that, though? He doesn't know. If she had because taken the cat to another vet, that vet might have treated the cat. And because so he said that this kitten was not getting medical attention. It should right, have but never he, been he can't, sold. Uh, he can't, I, can, I, I saw that that was thrown into the letter. Frankly, it makes it, in my eyes, a little less credible. It sounds like he's really, really on your side. It's a little over the top. If you return the cat, the cat will die. First of all, the law is not stupid. We don't require you to return the cat. We have alternative. You know, we know people get connected the minute they bring the pet home. But he is saying that this cat was really sick. Um, so why would you sell a cat that was so sick? The cat was, um, I'm not going to say she's lying, but she's exaggerating and okay. she was emotionally connected. I, I explained to her the cat has, I gave her all the paperwork. She just gave me a bill. No, that. it has it in the, in, the, in the vet bill. And in the paperwork and the paper I gave her, it says, I told them they had some sort of infection, which I treated. And they, he said that they get like colds. It's called um, a res respiratory something, something called for colds for cats. But he said it's normal. And I explained to her everything. And I'm always honest, and I even told her, I believe in karma, because if you have any issue, bring it back. I'll take care of it. I don't want you to have an issue and somebody else, and they're going to tell somebody else, and else, you know, it's, it's not what I do, you know? Okay. The cat. So what was the first time she reached out to you to tell you there's a problem? I think it was like the next day. I'm not sure. And what was your response? So what's the best way of buying a dog or a cat, a breeder or a rescue? I would say a breeder. And you say that why? Because I got my two dogs from a breeder. <laughs> yes, correct. Well, it depends. If you're trying to save up money, obviously you go to a rescue. Well, I would argue that it's not about saving money. <laughs> I have rescues. There you go, yeah. And they never forget. Correct. They never, never forget. And they're such good dogs. They're such good dogs going inside the courtroom. I told her, you know, tell me what's going on and I'll take care of this, you know. Meaning what? You know, to help her out and either take the cat back or, you know, Work it out. And what did she say to you? She said, no, okay. That's, and she said that she wants me to give permission for her vet to talk to my vet. Okay. And I said, I have no problem with that. I have nothing to you? hide. I did. Okay. And, and then I, was your vet able to talk to her vet? Mm -hmm. Well, he got a report from the office. Um, right. Did he talk the to the vet? I don't know if he talked to okay. the vet. Okay. But in any event, your cat, your cat ends up being hospitalized for how long? 48 hours. Okay. And, and then they, they gave the cat fluids. The cat got vet. better, right? They gave him antibiotics, fluids, IV. Okay. And then he had diarrhea issues for months and okay. had to go on prednisone, all sorts of medications. So the first bill, the original vet bills that you incurred were on 1218, 1220, 1221, correct? And those totaled, okay, because I'm also looking at other animals' bills, right? So I have to look for the ones that say. Well, there was a reason why there's other animals. I well, one reason was nail cutting. Vectra for cats, single dose. And why should she pay for that? What is it you're saying? Because the cat had fleas. Uh, the, uh, the cat the she kitten. sold you. Had, the kitten had fleas and what? And conjunctivitis. No, oh. wh who's Stitch? Stitch was my other cat that also got fleas. Okay, is there somewhere where your vet says that that Stitch got fleas from this cat and Stitch has never had fleas as opposed to that this is just what you normally do to keep up with a flea problem? Well, my vet um, did write a letter that I believe you have that states that Stitch is an indoor cat and has That's never nice. had fleas before. I have, have one letter from- been healthy throughout his lifetime and was an indoor cat, was brought in with very similar symptoms. 
he too was hospitalized and put on MBA. Never fully recovered. It had to be euthanized. I'm so sorry. A few yeah. months later, on April 12th. Wow. Now, I'm seeing for Stitch in January, renal issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he did have some renal issues. Okay, I understand. Are you, are you suggesting that the sickness of the cat she sold you killed Stitch? I think it... He okay, can you tell me how? He never really fully recouped from all the symptoms that Basha had. Um, <clears throat> based on what I've reviewed, I'm going to order Ms. Chatter to um, recompense some of your vet bills, but not the amount that you're asking for. I think that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that what happened to Stitch happened to Stitch. That's so sad. How old was Stitch? He's 16. 16? It's getting up there. Getting up there. We can't ask for much more than that, right? But I, I think that that is far too attenuated to be something that is a foreseeable circumstance of selling a cat with a cold. What is in front of me is $364.62 yeah. in vet bills for that cat for the upper respiratory thing. That's what I was it going is not to do right. with It's that. not an unreasonable amount that's, of money. That's why I was going to deal with her. But then she started out in her cat, her dog, and all this. Then I'm <clears> like, I do what you got to do. Everybody that's stop. What, Everybody stop. Saying. And therefore, that is how I rule. $364.62, verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. So the plaintiff will get her vet bills paid. Uh, how do you feel about this? Uh, she got what she wanted, but she didn't deserve the thousand dollars. And she's trying to blame me for everything and her mother because she's emotional. So I'm glad she got what she wanted. But well, she isn't getting a thousand. She's like three hundred and sixty. That's what I was trying to yeah. tell her, but yeah. she was being unreasonable. And you would have taken care of it. Definitely. Cat. You would. Have. I'm. A, you know, I've been doing this for twenty years, so I don't want anyone to be unhappy. And a cat is twenty years. You know being with you. I don't want her to curse me for 20 years, so. Well, thank you very much. Sorry thank about you. that. Okay, no you must sign a few documents. Ms. Banks? Hi. Yeah, the question is, why didn't you let her take care of the cat? I did ask her to take care of the cat. She said she would. She refused, in my, and it's in my text. Really? Yes, sir. You would have let her? If I wanted her to take care of the vet bill of No, 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 I meant take, she said bring the cat back. She'll take care of it. And I was afraid that the cat would die because if it had been in the condition it was in when I got him, I don't think it okay. would have survived. Bottom line, how's the cat now? He's great. He's a little devil. Great, great <laughs> pictures you showed the judge. Uh, yeah, really good. You. Gets along with the dog and everything. Wow. Yes, he does. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Okay. Harvey? Doug, just so you know, um, in many states, if you buy from a breeder, you have certain rights um, where you can get vet bills paid and even the right to return the animal if it's sick and get your money back. You got to check your state to make sure that the law applies to you.